Right guys, so we are gonna do a head-to-head -to -head video today on the TaylorMade RSI one iron. So the new one with the face slots and the speed slots to help with maximum forgiveness and one of the nation's favorites, the Ping G30. I put a question out yesterday on my Facebook and Twitter. What do you want pitching up against the RSI one? The G30 came out an awful lot of time. So did the speed blades. I'm gonna do a speed blade video next week, guys, so stay tuned for that. But it's all about forgiveness on these shots, okay? So the new TaylorMade irons that's just come out, you might have seen my review, the face slots, it helps still generate plenty of ball speed when hit off center. We're gonna test this theory today and we're gonna test it up against a club that's not got face slots, that is just, you know, marketed towards forgiveness. So a nice big sole on the bottom, big chunky head, and we're gonna test it. I'm actually gonna take you to the ninth hole at the Brabazon as well, at the Belfry. Um, a shot over water to a green, so we're gonna be able to see the actual simulation using my GC2 and the simulator software. It's 166 yards to carry the water, 172 to actually hit the green, and I'm hitting seven irons. Now my normal seven iron carry distance would be about 175 to 180 in that region. So we're gonna see off center, whether they still get that same distance. At the end of the video, I might probably hit one from the middle as well, just to see how it all works. I'm hitting with uh, Foresight and GC2 reflective dots. So this helps the machine pick up where the club head location is hitting from. I would use tape, but in testing the normal, the spin gets reduced and the ball still goes quite a long way. I'm gonna put a disclaimer on this direction might not be great because I'm hitting from the toe, direction might not be great at all. The face can rotate and twist and, and for me mainly hit the ball towards that left hand side with a bit of gear effect happening. So let's go for it. No wind on the golf course. I'm gonna hit right from the toe and let's see if it can still reach that green or get at least pin high. That was in towards the toe of that. That wasn't the best strike at all. So it's gonna go down the line of the target. It's landed on the green. It'll zoom in in a second. So it's actually landed, that's not a bad shot at all. It's landed 174 and look at the strike location. The strike is severely from the toe there. So I've hit that right in the bottom club and the ball has still traveled 174 yards. Let's give it a go with the ping G30 this time. So G30's time this time. So I tell you what, it's got some beat in that because you can see clear evidence says that was from the toe and it still carried 174. Right, these two clubs are in almost identical lofts. Let's go off the toe and see if that can, eat. let's see if the G30 can reach the green as well. So that was right in the toe of the golf club. It's down the line of the pin, must admit, slightly turned to the left. Oh, only just carried the bunker, carried one, six, five. It's hit the green again, which is great. And you can see the strike location, low and from the toe. So right, almost in the identical position there as the tailor made, but lost. How many yards in total did that lose? That lost uh, nine yards on the tailor made there. Nine yards is a big deal when you're hitting into a green over water. Let's go tailor made again. That was right off the toe, like what we wanted. That is down the line of the flag. Is it gonna carry? Oh, not as good that time. One, six, one carry. Uh, see, it would strike right in the toe again. So it's not gonna, didn't seem to get the, the full projection that time. And I'm in the bunker. It's not a good shot for me. You know, I've got to now, it's not got a pin high. It's lost a little bit of yardage, but it's not got a pin high right off the toe. These are the RSI one irons, which has got the biggest face slot on as well. The RSI two irons, I'm gonna be pitching up against, uh, probably gonna pitch it up against the SLDR iron. So check out my channel for that guys, because that's gonna be a meaty, meaty matchup. Right, let's go G30 again off the toe, and then we're gonna try and get closer to pin out the middle. Right off the toe. Oh, bottom and from the toe. That's gonna get. That's gonna do really well to get to the green. Oh, oh, it's managed to get there. So I didn't hit that well at all. It's carried one seven two. Look at the strike right off the bottom. Not as toe it. Let me hit one more from the toe with the ping G thirty. That was more kind of probably a bit more thin than actually um, from the toe. But you can tell with the big chunky sole that still managed to get there. Oh, that was from the toe. That was right from so is it going to carry oh it's in the same bunker 159 carry 
See the strike location is right in the toe, right in the toe. So I must admit that the TaylorMade put it in the same bunker, but it did also hit the shot where it carried onto the green. So whether there's a little bit of, of evidence in that, whether it's actually gonna carry that distance because of the face slots, because of the extra trampoline. Right, one from the middle this time. Let's go close as the pin. Like I said, the pin's 174 away. So it's probably gonna be a quite gentle seven iron for both of these two. Let's hit it from the middle this time so you can get closest to the flag. That should be good. That should be very good. Is it going to get close? Not a bad hit at all. So nicely out the middle, carried it 174, pretty much bob on, and 12 feet away from the hole. And you see there, that's even, even that's not in the middle of the face. Still quite low off the face that time. So for 174 yards, I'm pleased with that, considering it wasn't flush out the middle. Right, 12 feet it's got to be. Can the pin get it inside it? That felt amazing. This could be good. Oh, it's just turning a tiny bit left, a bit of draw. Good carry distance again. It's safely on the green. I don't think it's going to beat the uh, tailor-made there for, for distance away from the pin, 10 yards away, you know, not much in it at all. So guys, that was a very different comparison I've done on these two golf clubs. I've not done a where hitting on the face forgiveness test on an iron. I've, I'll be honest, I've been guilty and done mainly distance. But now with the forgiveness coming out of these golf clubs, let's start doing a bit more forgiveness. So it's going to be a close one between these two. There was a definite evidence when hit from the toe, this one was still managed to reach the green. Not on a super consistent level though. With the ping, it's almost reaching the green, but I reckon you're just losing a little bit more distance with the ping uh, connection when hit from the toe. So off center. I would love to I'd love to do this test off the heel, but I'm slightly concerned about the safety of my camera. Um, so off the toe is the simplest way of doing it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed that little comparison with the new software, being able to see the ball flight and seeing how, how it actually still travels and relates on a golf course, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking the link down below. Appreciate that. And check out my next video, which is the RSI 2 against the SLDR iron. I'm going to go to the 18th of the Belfry for that. Guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you all soon.